Major blow to Al-Qaeda this morning. The terror group says its number two man in Yemen has been killed by an American drone. Our senior correspondent, John Mill, is a former FBI assistant director. John, good morning. Good morning. Who was he and how significant? He is Saeed al-Shihi. He's pretty significant in that he's not the number two man in Al-Qaeda, but he's the number two man in Al-Qaeda in Yemen. Why is that a big deal? These are the, these are the Saudi loyalists that Bin Laden trusted the most. They've been in Yemen. And they have been, out of all the al-Qaeda affiliates, the ones that have been most effective about targeting America. They're the ones who developed and placed the underwear bomb in a plane over Detroit, developed the printer bomb for three planes bound for the United States um, and Great Britain. They're the ones who publish Inspire magazine, which gave the recipe and, by its name, the inspiration for the Boston Marathon bombings and the bombs they and used. How did we get them? This was a June 1st drone strike, part of a campaign, a joint campaign with uh, U.S. Special Forces Intelligence and the Yemeni military to take on al-Qaeda of the Arabian Peninsula because of the problems that they create, not just for the U.S., the threat, um, but also uh, Yemen and its stability. Let's turn now to that North Korean ship that was seized in Panama with uh, some weapons on board. What do we know about that? Where was it headed? How sophisticated or unsophisticated was the stuff on board. Well, this is another, this is another chapter in a, in a different and very interesting spy game. Here is a rusty old freighter that uh, comes through the Panama Canal, um, sticking this far out of the water, then literally goes off the radar. Its signal stops blipping. And the next thing it, they know, it's coming back from the direction of Cuba, except it's sitting way lower in the water. And they say we're shipping sugar. It turns out that um, underneath the tons of sugar were, were all of these old weapon systems apparently bound back for Korea coming from Cuba. Uh, let me turn back to Yemen, if I may. When they kill the number two man, uh, are they easily replaceable so that they'd sort of, they hardly miss a beat? Not anymore. I mean, you've got a, you've got a limited group there in Yemen, and what they're looking for is, is talent um, that comes with the technical ability, the leadership skills. This isn't just about going out and fighting U.S. forces in the field where they're expendable. Um, these are leaders of a complex terrorist organization. So this is a significant blow. But the number one guy there is still alive. John Miller, thank you.